back up again. Now we're trying to fight to bring growth silence. We're talking growth silence. Either we're going to grow silence and be about growing silence. Because when you grow, you change. If you have intentions to really grow, you change. Because you cannot grow without planting the seed. The seed that's being planted is the one of prosperity. The seed that's being planted is the one of hope. To give the neighborhood something to be proud about. To give the people that are going up and down like this something that they can raise their hand and shout about. To make people understand that the respect for this street we all have, instead of throwing the check-in boxes out the window, maybe they would find a trash can to put it in versus trashing up our community. And for my African American Council colleagues, am I disturbed or really am? I'm glad that you all are here today to witness who's with you and who's not. You need to see, and then you need to spread the word. And you need to spread the word through social media so folks can understand. You talked about a meeting last night that you had but you did not have the courtesy to invite me. I found out about the meeting by mistake. My colleague, you didn't have the guts to call me to say anything to me about the meeting so that maybe I could go and educate and tell them the other side. Is that fair to do? Is that fair to call a meeting at the Veterans Resource Center at 6.30? And I'm sitting at a place talking to Mr. Thrash at 6 o'clock, and he asked me, was I going to a meeting? What meeting? What one got from that? What my goodness. I'll say to you, and I want you to know, because I'm going to put all the code, I am transparent. I had three signatures on a piece of paper. Three signatures that I asked was Councilman Atkins and Councilman Scott Green. Councilman Atkins, your signature was number one. He signed the affidavit to move this ball. But now, behind my back, there's a move to derail the process. Your name was first. His name was first. The one who was going to be first. Had I known that I was going to be betrayed, betrayed, had I known that I was going to get knives in the back, then I would have done something. I was smart enough to do that. But at the end of the day, you're going to know the real story. Then if I can get some slides up here on this screen at this time, so that you can see this is the Veterans Resource Center. This is not, this is not Veterans Hospital, but it is the Honorable Veterans Resource Center. This is in Kansas Woman Hills District. It's a veteran resource center. But right across the street, we talk about the love we have for Langston, but look at the trash. Look at the trash that's on Langston. Colleagues, look at the trash. This picture was taken three days ago by my camera. Look at the trash and look at the veteran resource center. So while we're out here fussing about changing his name, we're going to just let it stay trashed up. Councilwoman here, what happened to the trash attack? It must have got attacked because the trash is here. And you're talking about representing the district? Then if you're going to represent it, represent it. If you're going to leave it like this, this is what all of Lancaster will remain to be. Unless you have somebody that's going to care. Unless somebody's going to have the backbone to stand up. And to the veterans, I love you guys that spoke last week at the City Planning Commission. I honor you all, but to you five that's sitting up there, y'all know who I'm talking about. When you all spoke, you failed to give your address to the Planning Commission, but they heard from the veterans. But you, 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 and you, you live in here. You don't even live in Dallas. But you're here telling us what we ought to do in an area that we live every single day. And if we're trying to empower and impact and change the attitude 
and bring about some hope. We cannot change it with the attitudes of not working together. I do not want us to be misled, and we have been misled. But it's okay. God spoke with me. It's okay. I win regardless because I'm fighting for what is right. I will not denounce a name of Nelson Mandela who fought apartheid, who went to jail for it, who stood the same level as a Martin Malcolm X and a Martin Luther King, in my opinion. We came from Africa. Nelson Mandela is from Africa. That's what I hear you fight for direct flights all the time from DFW Airport to Africa. We want a direct flight. We want a direct flight from DFW to Africa. But then when the African opportunity comes, then you get into a shape. So now you do the same thing. We all fight for it. Either we're going to stand up for what we're talking about and what we're telling people that we want and what we need, or we're going to continue to pull upon the African American community. I am black. I will stay black. I will raise and educate black. But I will be fair across the board with every citizen in this city for what is right. I live there. I know what makes a difference. I know what energizes. I know what changes. I know it brings down crime. I know it brings up hope. One block from where this trash is, there's a store named Prosper. Ms. Hill is still in your district. The prostitutes are there last night. The crime is there. The hanging out is there. The raggy signs are there. It's all in just that area. It is not in my area. My area is the only area that has truly been and the gentleman is there by the tip, the tip. We have a tip. I've thought to bring a tip, and there is a tip on Lancaster already. But if we as African Americans were together, because the folks, they are divided. They're divided because you got two African Americans that fought, you got two African Americans, one who flew back in here from Washington, just with his vote, the vote to die. There was someone to give him. I'm, 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 I'm telling you, I'm hot about this. I'm going to try to leave this alone a little bit. But I want the people to know where I am. And I want you to know why I'm where I am. I am for the government. Mr. Jeffrey, I want to personally thank you for coming to my office just a short while ago. I want to personally extend another opportunity for us to continue to talk. There are things that I think we do and should do for veterans even more in and around the hospital. But it has to be a community thing. It can't just be a veterans thing. All of the homes, they're not there at veterans. The other areas, they're not there at veterans. The other communities. But we do recognize and appreciate it. Barack Obama School's there for it. Air for the Air Brooks and them there for it. Fiesta's for it. The banks are for it. Everybody's for it with the exception of just a few. Now, will there be other options? Yes. You all, in your statement, you said, well, let's change it to this thing. Well, let's change it to that thing. And let's, let's make it some better. That's what you all just said. OK. So if you are saying that let's change it to something, then council, that should underline the fact that they do not have a fear with the expense of changing it, if indeed they felt that it could be changed to something other than Nelson Mandela. So let's take that off the table. Let's also take this off the table. Let's take the fact that I had a conversation with Ms. Hill. And Ms. Hill said to me, and I quote, I have a better idea for us to change the name and, 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 and something greater for Nelson Mandela. We should not name Lancaster Nelson Mandela. Let's just name the Trinity Park. Well, Ms. Neal, I'm glad you think even that greater of Nelson Mandela. So since we're not changing it to the Trinity Parkway, it should not have been even a problem for us to change the street name of Lancaster, since we thought so much greater than Lancaster. Let's put the truth out here, the way it is, the way it came to me. I'm going to fight for it. We're 
we're going to do it. But to the veterans, you need to understand that there have been conversations. These people, where you think it's not, we should be American and all of that, she wants to name a training partner with Nelson Mandela. That's not a veteran. That's not a person from America. But they're willing to do that. But then they're willing to, to trick you to make you think. Because this is not a vote against Nelson Mandela. This is a vote against Dwayne Carroll. I want y'all to understand that. With these two right here. That's what this is. We'll do anything they can to vote against whatever proposal is put on the table. But I can say this. Myself, I'll let my colleagues speak for ourselves. We supported everything that happened inside West Center Law. When you all came and needed $120,000, we supported it. When you came and needed some more money inside West Center Law for a study, then we supported it. Every item that you all have ever put up has been with support. And every item that we've ever put forward just positive has been backbiting and backstabbing. I'm going to hope, but I'm going to make a motion at this time. And I'm going to ask my colleagues to please at least support this motion. Out of fairness, and out of fairness to Mr. Maxim, out of fairness to the, to the veterans, out of fairness to the people. I want to make a motion at this time because then there will be more meetings. I'd like to move to close the public hearing and hold this item under advisement until November 12th of 2014. That's the motion. If I can only get a second, that's a second. Thank you. And then let me say this to the veterans. Let's sit down and talk about it. To the business owners. Let's sit down and talk about it. To Mr. Mayor, let's sit down and talk about it. To all of the business owners and all of the employees and to everybody here. Let's sit down and let's talk about it. And let's be open. But let's also be aware of the people with agendas. My agenda is one that's going to bring about quality retail, a better quality of life, some excitement, some things that will revitalize our community, our, not mine, our. And we collectively together can make that decision. That is my motion at this time, Mr. Bill. I'm happy to second that motion with you. In 1980, LCFA had me was the House of Member of Four District Seven. And I was in my early 20s at that time. Uh, at just, you know, I was really 18 at that time. I just graduated from James Madison High School. And I remember we was changing the street name of Martin Luther King Jr. It was a poor outcry about Dr. King. People saw Elsie say because she was changing the name of Dr. King, which was for us. They called Dr. King everything but the sun of People came out in droves to the Dallas City Council, talked about him, talked about his ethics, talked about he was not a man of God. People did not want that street name to be Martin Luther King Jr. I remember that. Elsa they fought hard. Change the name of Dr. King, which is now Martin Luther King, which was far as that. Then we worked for Malcolm X, and there's only two cities in the world that intersect Malcolm and Martin, New York City, and Dallas, Texas. No other city in the world. I was sitting where you were sitting, and Ron Kirk was the mayor at that time. People came down and talked about Malcolm X, that they did not want to buy new, new mailers, they would have to change the name, 
and the people talked about Malcolm X. They said how bad Malcolm was. Malcolm was bad for the people. Malcolm was not a man. Malcolm was everything but a human being. They talked about Malcolm. I sit here before you today, we have two streets in our district, Malcolm and Martin. Malcolm and Martin. And it's okay at the end of the day. It's okay. People would have got new mellers, new envelopes, new stationaries, and guess what? Everybody is fine. <coughs> the street is doing well. Change is okay. I read a book that Nelson Mandela wrote. Long to be free. Long to be free. And when I read that book, I can imagine waiting to be free. Can you imagine being locked up half of your life? Less than a man, treated like a dog. But wants to be free in his own country. My grandmother picked cotton. My grandfather as well. And I remember my grandmother talking about the long to be free. Long to be free. And I respect Nelson Mandela because he stood for us. And then he became the president of his own country that he fought for. It's okay. So when you have your babies, your grandkids, in the back seat of your car, and they ask you, Mommy, Daddy, who is Nelson Mandela? It's a homework assignment for them. It's a homework assignment for them. Long to be free. I can imagine. Of course, I wasn't born when he was not given his opportunity to be free. But I can only imagine not to be free and wanting to be free. Long to be free. It's a hard pill to swallow. When you're wanting to be free, and all Mr. Carol Way is trying to do is what's right for you. Y'all hear me? Don't do him like this. It's not fair to him. He's trying to do something that he feels that his own district could appreciate and like at the end of the day. I'm changing Elsie Faye. I'm putting her on Hatcher. Her name will go on Hatcher. I think Elsie Faye deserves that. What do you craft? God bless your soul. Elsie Faye, God bless your soul. <coughs> Charlemagne, God bless your soul. Diane Ragsdale, God bless your soul. And then here I am, sitting in a seat that they fought. It's a long to be free, a long to be free. And we, at the end of the day, have to respect the man. We might not like him, but we have to respect him, Nessa. Nessa, my brother, I hope the angels are looking over you for all the work that you have done for mankind. All the work. And all we're talking about is the street. A sign that is going to go on the street. But it's not going to change the condition of our community unless we want to see changes in our community. Long to be free, Mr. Carraway. I think Nelson deserves more than this. I really do. 
I really do. So Ms. Carol Way, I will be supporting you because I have a lot of respect for Nelson. Didn't know him, but I know the work that he did for South Africa and apartheid. Long to be free. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The Sunday morning when Nelson Mandela walked out of prison after 27 years. I, like the rest of the world, sat in front of my television and applauded and cried tears of joy that this man was finally free and because of his sacrifice, the world was a different place. I respect and honor Nelson Mandela. I will not support this main change. I will not support a motion that closes this discussion to the public. I have told my esteemed colleague from the beginning that I would not support his suggestion and I told him the reasons. Nelson Mandela is bigger than Martin Luther King Jr. He is bigger than Malcolm X. He is bigger than Lyndon Johnson. He is bigger than George Bush. He is bigger than Kay Bailey Hutchinson. We have named large places for presidents and our former senators. To name of just one road for this man who was such a large world figure is a disgrace to the man's legacy. We need to work together to find something big enough to honor Nelson Mandela and his legacy and this proposal is not big enough. It's too small for Mandela. I represent a portion of Lancaster Road, that portion that houses the Veterans Hospital, the VA. That is the second reason I will not support this name change. I have a number of veterans who live in my district. Not one veteran has come to me supporting this change. And I will not slap American veterans in the face by ignoring their wishes. The veterans are not asking for a name change. But what the veterans are saying is, if you want to change the name, and we don't, but if you want to change the name, at least honor an American veteran. That in no way, in no way, dishonors Nelson Mandela. It simply, there is at least 70 thousand, if not 700,000 American veterans whose names we could put on this road if we chose to change it, which we should not. As for the elected representatives, it is a misrepresentation to say that Congresswoman Johnson or any of the state elected representatives agree. That is not what they said. What they have said is, that is a city issue and we will abide by what the city wants. Congresswoman Johnson made it very clear that this is not her issue. She did not weigh in either way. She is leaving it to the city council, this body, and as an elected representative of this body, I say no. 
The state representatives have said the same thing. They have said that's a council issue and we will abide by whatever the council decides. You have been asked to spread the word as to how we stand. Please spread this word. Bonsill Jones Hill will not dishonor Nelson Mandela by choosing something so small as a street when we have honored others with things much bigger. Spread the word that Bonsill Jones Hill will not dishonor American veterans by ignoring their words and ignoring their legacy. Spread the word. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, thank you, thank you Mary. And, and thank you, Ms. Hill, for, for making that very passionate and intellectual statement. And thank you, Ms. Kelly, for your heart. It only goes to show you yeah. who's in touch and who's out of touch. Me too. For you. No, 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 if you're in touch, okay. you know what's going on. Okay. If you're out of touch, then you don't. Ms. Hill respectfully has approximately 15% of this from Ledbetter to the Lawrence. I have 85% from Ledbetter to the Lawrence. You saw pictures of her 15%. Good speech. Speeches get you nowhere. Good proper talk. Ain't nothing but talk. Let's just keep it 100 and keep it real. She made mention that Nelson Mandela deserves something great. Well, that's fine. Well, I wonder why you haven't been working on it. I wonder why it hasn't got started by you. I wonder when is it going to take place? We get ready to go off to see the council, y'all. When is it going to bring up the engines? When are we going to name this big building? When are we going to name this big fantastic and take advantage of this big fantastic opportunity? <coughs> Wait for the wagon, y'all. If you are serious about representing your community, you're going to do something about it. And you're not going to wait for an opportunity to stand up and just say no. I guess I'm a liar. Senator Bross West and I, Helen Gibbons, Connie Rose, a few others, we did have a conversation. So I guess Ms. Hill is listening on my telephone for some reason. And this is our conversations. You don't know what we talked about. You don't know what they told me. And I dare not ever misrepresent other elected officials. And to say that it's a disgrace, that I'm disgracing Nelson Mandela, give me a break. The disgrace is when your planning commission of Black Images Bookstore, Emma Rogers, made the motion as many black books that we've bought, much support that we've given her, made a motion to deny the change. I want the folks to know exactly what's going on, because I'm not in nobody's pocket and nobody's in mine. I'm in the hearts and the minds of the people that I represent. The people in District 4, the people in the Southern sector, we are, and we don't have to be here to make our point known, because that's why I'm here. That's why we're here. You're always going to have opposition that wants to come down and rally. But there are people that believe that when you work it as hard as it has been worked, when you're out there talking to the drug dealers, when you're out there trying to educate the kids, when you're out there trying to get the prostitutes off the street, when you're in there trying to build new 
houses and knocking down houses across the entire city. The National Guard was just here. I'm not a bad fighter. I shared the National Guards. I could have been like others, a few other of my distinct colleagues, and I could have kept it to myself and got all the glory. This is not the glory for Dwayne Carraway. This is the right thing to do for us to bring down crime, to provide a better quality of life, to provide a quality of hope, a spirit of hope, changing it to the community. People from hanging out on the streets that our tax dollars are going and paying for because we have to pick up the trash on the streets. We have to send the police over there. We have to look at the blight. And then to some of these absentee landlords. Yes, there were 20 that came back, 20, approximately 20. One gentleman owns 10 of the 20, and he responded. 10 times, negatively. Get it all right, get it. I'm not called being name. All of it, same handwriting. The man responded, he owned 10 properties. Let me say this, I'm glad he responded because he's a slumlord too. Now we know how to reach him. He responded, Chevy, we know how to reach him now. He has vacant lots with high weeds and trash. But yet he's going to respond to us and try to tell us what the heck we ought to be doing over our place. I'm so glad he responded. We will be dealing with that. We have been looking for him. So that he can pick up the very trash that you saw on some of these screens. He can cut the high weeds. He can bring about some pride. And he can start bringing and fix up some of those ragged facilities that he's letting the tobacco shops bring from him. That's also said in drugs right in our ear. We know what we're talking about, am I right? Got to get an amen. There you go. I'm standing right here. So here's where we are. To the veterans, we have veterans drive already. You all chose this. We didn't. Here's veterans drive right here. Starts in Mr. Atkins District and District 8. Runs right here through and right behind the Veterans Hospital. And it turns right. It is called Veterans Drive. It's already a name for veterans, right? Give me a break. <laughs> it is. Yeah, this big man's got some copies of Elmo. Some got in them over here. This big man's got some copies. This veteran's tried already. The veterans wanted this. This is what they wanted, and this is what we gave them. Now, in the process of moving forward, I want to just ask my colleagues, I want us to have this. I want to put this thing off to November 7th. I do want us, November 12th, I do want us to hear from folks so that we can collectively together uh, cut the politics out. The only reason I got to say close the public hearing, I'm being backstabbed. I'm not being told what it means. They, 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 they're doing all of this trickery behind the door stuff. And, 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 and calling and stirring up stuff, that if we're going to have a quality opportunity to really do what's right and respect the wishes of the council member that represents the majority of this district, then let me work those things out as we worked out other issues that involve you all in you all's districts. You all have worked out some things in your districts, and you worked it out with the people, and you bought it in, and then the people came with it, and everybody was satisfied. We voted and moved it down the road. I'm appalled to the fact that we think that we should not change the name to Nelson Mandela. But yet, and still, when Ms. Hill proposes to do something great, the very messages that you all had about an American, and he's not from America, that's erased off the board. That's erased off the board. So it's a two-fold situation here. If you, 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 you don't want Lancaster, but, 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 but let's do something different. Well, come on. If it's about Nelson Mandela, then that's what it is. Get a grip. Let's understand where we're going. All right, I'm, I'm going to stop. Ms. Davis, Mr. Mayor, I don't stop. Yeah. Mr. Mayor, I'm going to propose an alternative motion that we leave the public hearing on. I'll accept that. 
Do you have a second? Yes, sir. Ms. Davis? Was there a second? Yes, Ms. Carraway did. Ms. Davis? Are you accepting it? Ms. Davis? Oh. Okay, Mr. Carraway. Number one, that uh, yesterday there is a lady by the name of Nancy Thomas. Is she down there? Ms. Thomas, you got there, Ms. Thomas? Yeah, thank you. I'm not going to make sure that she was out there. She lived in her business in this ready. And I'm going to hand things out. And this phone, she called me. So I'm trying to put on record straight who called me. When someone called me who I represented, I'm going to, I'm going to come to the meeting. When I came to the meeting yesterday morning, once the CDC made a ruling, I stayed out of the woodwork. I did not go to my CPC and tell them what to do, what not to do, how to vote. That's not my job. It's a process to get going. Last night, Ms. Summers called me, I think it was about 3 o'clock, and she said she wouldn't have a meeting. And I said I could not do it at 6 or about 6 30. The business community in my district, District 8, called the meeting. Councilman Atkins did not call the meeting. Again, I did not. But that morning, Tuesday morning, I drove up and down my district. Not District 3, not District 4. I drove up and down to ask where do they stand on this issue, to be open about it. Yes, I did sign the name change, the recommendation. But I also signed one for Eddie Holiday. Again, I signed one for Eddie Holiday. And the resident came and said they did not want it, but I did sign it. So it's not unusual for me to sign something. And the citizens of the resident said something different. I just want to put that out there. Now, what I think and what you think, what everyone else thinks, I live in District 8, and I represent the people in District 8. It's my job to hear my resident. And that's what I'm doing. Listen to my resident first. That's who will elect me, and that's why I'm here. So I just want to put that on record. Yeah. We have a motion on the table. Uh, Mom, the lines up. Mr. Mayor, can you clarify the motion? The motion was Mr. Carraway would keep the public hearing open and move it to November 12th. Okay. Mr. Hey, okay, that's the same motion you were saying to, to keep the, the public hearing open. Okay, that's the motion on the table. The motion on the table. Same motion. Is that done the same motion? And Mr. Carraway is set on the motion. Ms. Carroll, accept the motion. Accept the motion. Okay? Well, you modified Mr. The Chairway's original motion was to close the public hearing and delay the vote. He modified that based on what Mr. Callahan said to leave the public hearing open and delay the vote. It's in November the 12th, right? Yes. Is that firm? That's correct. Okay. So everyone, go for the motion on the table, right? Okay. Ready to go. Cast your vote. I'll have voted on the motion. Voting in favor, council members McDonald, Davis, Carraway, Gates, Allen, Deputy Mayor Fletcher Malonzo, Against Council Members Klein, Mayor Rollins is absent on city business. The motion can be Thank you. Uh, next slide, please. Thank you. We move now to the